morning students now welcome to second part of the video of chapter 3 now today we are going to discuss cartesian plane okay and this cartesian plane invented by the french mathematician rene descartes in 15th century now students before starting this i want to recall your previous information about number line this number line you have studied in your previous class as well as in our previous chapter number system chapter number first what number line is firstly we have a line we put a midpoint zero on the right hand we put all the positive numbers on the left hand we put all the negative numbers and this one is zero back separate positive and negative number now this number line we have studied in our previous classes as well as in our chapter first if we move three units on right hand 1 2 and 3 we have a position a that locate we move right hand from the starting point z now when we move two points on negative axis 1 and 2 this one known as minus 2 this is our position so this means we move in left side two directions but we know that point as negative on right hand we went positive and left hand we supposed to do with negative what the cartes did in this number system or number line he imagined two lines first line horizontally this one is horizontal line name this line as x x dash okay and remain this line as number line put zero at the middle 1 2 3 on right hand minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 on left this horizontal line because this one is x axis and the points 0 1 2 3 or minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 he called this point as axis a Now we have three things. Firstly, he made a horizontal line. He made this horizontal line x, x dash. Every line have two endpoints. So this one also have two endpoints. So uh, every line have two points. So this one of uh, this one also has two points x and x dash. He imagined this horizontal line as x axis and. every point every single position on this line he named that position on that point a special name as is sa now he reason the second line which is perpendicular to the horizontal line this one known as vertical line he named this vertical line as y y the same as the number line in upward direction he took 1 2 and 3 in downward direction he has taken minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 that line known as y axis that line known as y axis 
and every point, every position, whether it is positive, negative, or zero, he calls that one ordinates. O R D I N A T E S. Ordinates. Now he took two lines which are perpendicular to each other. The first line named as x x dash. He named he took a special name for that x axis. He named all the position on x axis is known as axis. He took a vertical line. He named as y axis, and the name is y y dash. He named all the position on y axis as ordinates. So, what is the use of these? to vertical and horizontal or we can say x axis and y axis he just do a one thing which is make a cartesian plane what he did he just place both lines x axis and y axis mutually perpendicular as like both of the origin or the zero This one known as O, starting point, zero, whatever, or we can say origin. Just he intersect both horizontal and vertical line, as by their zeros are coincide, and name that coincide point as origin. O R I G I N, origin. Whenever in number line. We call it starting point. But when we talk about this Cartesian plane, just we name that coincide point, which is zero for both x axis and y axis, a special name origin. Okay. And on this horizontal line, from the origin, we took points. As like one, two, three, four, they have equal intervals. On the left hand of the origin, he took the points on the horizontal line minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. Again, on the upper direction, he took points one, two, three, and four. In downward direction, he took minus one. Minus two, minus three, minus four. Basically, if we name this origin as O, we have four lines, or we can say we have four directions. First one known as O X. The second one known as O X dash. The third one known as O Y, and the fourth one known as O Y dash. If we talk about These O X O Y O X S O Y S. Two of them are positive axes. O X and O Y known as positive parts of positive axes. O X S and O X Y are known as the negative axes. And these axes are separated by the point, which is known as origin. And one special thing about this origin. This origin is mutually perpendicular for each of the axes. If we talk about O X and O Y, the angle which it is 90 on the O Y and O X, O X S angle which is 90, O X S and O Y S angle which is used is 90, and thus O Y S and O X also the angle of 90. When we talk about the angles, the whole system. Have mutually perpendicular axes. Now, what it does in this Cartesian plane? This axis is separate a plane in four parts. If we talk about the first part, this first part, this one is second part, this one is third part, and this one is fourth part. Now we have. Four parts on a plane. Each have a separate part known as 
quadrants quadrants from where quadrants came out this quadrant came out from the word quarter what do we know of quarter if we talk about quarter in mathematics it means one fourth of whole so it is very simple to understand that quadrant means this is one fourth of the whole cartesian plane the second quadrant this one is second uh, third quadrant and the last one is known as the fourth quadrant how these quadrants are special if we talk about the first quadrant it is responsible for two axes ox and oy both are positive if we talk about the second quadrant this quadrant is responsible for two axes ox dash and oy one 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 of them is negative and second one is positive if we talk about the quadrant third one it is responsible for ox dash and oy dash when we talk about the fourth quadrant it is responsible for the ox and oy axis one thing which is the most important when we talk about the separately these axis that name as axis are which is point on x axis and this one is not known as coordinates which one on the y axis but when we take a point which is responsible for both x and y we have two questions first one what that points in known as and second how we represent those points so first question which is what that point known as the points which is placed on cartesian plane not on the horizontal and vertical line these are separate lines and when we make these separate lines together virtually perpendicular that known as cartesian plane this cartesian plane which we have talking about in this one is the given cartesian plane which have four quadrants two axes origin okay if we place a point on this cartesian plane the points known as coordinates from where we took this chapter name coordinate unit so this one known as coordinates okay so what is the way to write the coordinates the way to write the coordinates we took axis are as leader it means x will lead when we take the y this one is follower it will come after x and the most important thing we separate this x and y with the comma and the last but not the least we put a small bracket around x and y to locate that position separately so the points which formed by these two lines x axis and y axis on a cartesian cartesian plane known as coordinates and these coordinates will be write as x first means axis are first and then put a comma then y means ordinate the both mutually concept of writing is known as ordinate and we just follow the rule first we will put a small bracket we write the both parts but with the comma now i have these six coordinates we have to put these coordinates on this separate cartesian system or we can say a cartesian plane before starting that i want to tell you the responsible sign convention for this cartesian system if we talk about first quadrant then this quadrant have two parts ox and oy by the rule we have to write x first and x is positive now when we write the y this one 
this one also positive. So we can say that in first quadrant, both point axis and coordinates are positive. So we can call it positive positive. Now move to second quadrant. We have to write x first. Here x is negative, so this one is negative, and y is positive, so negative positive. Okay, so we can call it negative positive. Now the third one, x may be first, and then y, and both are of negative, so we can write negative is negative. And when we talk about the fourth quadrant, x first and x is positive, and y later that will be negative, and we can positive and negative. The first quadrant is minus 3, 2. Firstly, we move to x, and where is minus 3? The so minus 3 is on 0 x axis. 0 x plus x axis. So minus 3 is here, and with 2. Which is on the positive, so here is a, the A position minus 3, 2. When we talk about the B position, so 2 minus 3, firstly we move 2 on the right side and minus 3 on upper direction, uh, sorry, downward direction. So this is our B 2 minus 3. Now the C1. We see 0, 2. Oops. Here x is not present. So you have to remember this also. When x is not present, we have to write as, as 0. So 0, 2. Where is c? 0, 2 means 0 on x. So x is not movable. But at y we have 2. So we put that point on axis. Here it's a new thing for you. This one is on the axis. Now the D1 minus 3 is 0. So firstly minus 3 is on O x dash and 0 is given at the place of B, so it is not movable on y axis. So it is D minus 3 0. So I told you in previous coordinate C that if a point is given without x or y, that will be represent on axis. Now the E point minus 2 minus 3. The left hand minus 2 and the downward minus 3. We took that point E and this one is minus 2 minus 3. When we move to the e F point, which is 2, 4, then we move on O x direction, 2 points and 4 points on O y direction. This one is 2, 4, and here we can write F point 2, 4. Okay students, I think you understood about the Cartesian plane system, what is the raw concept of this chapter, quadrant geometry. Later we will discuss about the uh, exercises which is coming in our next video, video number 3rd. In video number 3rd we will going to solve exercise 3.2 and 3.3 both. So ready for that video, thanks for watching this video and keep studying hard, stay safe. Okay students. That's all.